school, I'm Tori Chin, and welcome to this year's final episode of GMBA. Yes, school is virtual, but all of us in the third hour Pulse class wanted to put together a final episode to finish off the year right. And just because school is virtual doesn't mean we don't have some great content in store for you. So get ready to see some familiar faces and obviously get some important info that you need to know. First and foremost, here is my friend and yearbook editor-in-chief, Addison, for some news about this year's yearbook. Hey y'all, it's Addison here. I know you have a bunch of questions about when we're getting the yearbooks in and how we're distributing them, but don't worry. We did submit the book on time and we're still working on a supplement full of spring sports and even some coverage about what you all have been doing during quarantine. We don't exactly know how or when we're distributing the book, but as soon as we know, you'll know. If you head over to our Instagram page, at Broken Arrow Yearbook, we'll keep you updated on all the distribution day news and we'll even post some sneak peeks of the 2020 yearbook in the meantime. If you haven't ordered yours yet, head over to jostensyearbooks.com to reserve your copy. We only have a few left and once they're gone, they're gone. We hope you're as excited as we are to see this new book and we hope you're staying safe. Thanks, Addison. For our 2020 seniors, if you've received any scholarships or are expecting to, please complete the scholarship information form so that Broken Air High School officials will have the knowledge of any scholarships you have accepted or plan to accept. If you are unsure if you've received any, don't worry about filling this form out. The form can be found on the bschools.org website under the Broken Air High School news page. Coming up soon, seniors and their parents can pick up caps and gowns as well as any other senior items that they ordered in the front loop of the high school. On May 12th, students with the last names A through L, and May 13th for seniors with the last names M through Z. In order to protect everyone's health for picking up their caps and gowns, should remain in their cars and representatives from Jostens will come to their car, get your name, and bring you your senior items. So now, let's hand it over to David for his final big news segment ever. As the 2019-20 school year has come to an odd end with the worldwide pandemic of COVID-19, it's easy to forget all the amazing things that happened this year at BAHS. So for my final big news, I wanted to take everyone back to do a special rewind of the year. The 2019-20 school year started off with a bang with the annual Aloha Bash event. What a better time for a little fun in the sun than the first full week of school. With rides, games, snow cones, and much more, it was a perfect way to kick off the school year. Not long after, the BA Choirs hosted the annual Mr. BA Pageant. After several different rounds of competition, including a group dance, athletic wear, formal wear, and a talent section, Grant Galloway was crowned 2019-20 Mr. BA. This year, Broken Arrow was lucky enough to have three students named National Merit Scholar finalists. Michael Musa, Emily Newby, and Emily Painter are among approximately 15,000 students from across the nation who qualified and are some of the highest scoring students in the state of Oklahoma. In the middle of September, BA's leadership retreat was held at New Life Ranch, formerly known as Dry Gulch USA. The event was for any high school student and it was a time for student growth and team building. With tons of games and group activities, everyone who went to it had a blast. Similar to the leadership retreat, BAHS hosted its annual Breaking Down the Walls event with hundreds of students attending. The event was designed to unify, empower, and engage every student to create a positive and supportive campus culture. October brought some more great events including Broken Arrow's award-winning Tiger Theater with their one-act play, Mirrors. This year's play was another amazing production and the team placed third in regionals with four all-star actors and placed first at the Union State competition with six all-star actors. Another huge event in October was Broken Arrow's Homecoming Week. Hoko this year did not disappoint as hundreds of students dressed up all week showcasing Broken Arrow's amazing school spirit. The week ended with both Zeno Marcaselli and Hannah Hoffman being named BA's 2019 Homecoming King and Queen, followed by an epic Hoko dance that Saturday. 2019-20 was another outstanding year for the pride of Broken Arrow as the group won the Bands of America Super Regional in Orlando and in St. Louis. Following that success, the group brought home their 18th straight state championship. This year's Western theme performance, Yeehaw, was outstanding and it truly showed as they dominated the competition all season long. Wrapping up the first semester was the annual Boot Scoot event. This dance invited kids to throw on their boots and enjoy some cowboy fun, which included vine dancing, bull riding, s'mores, and much more. Second semester brings on the show choir season. Tiger Rhythm and Tiger Mystique practiced hard the entire first semester and it showed. 
The teams competed across the country and racked up the awards. It all culminated in February in the show choir spectacular at the Broken Arrow PAC. Later that month, more than 40 Broken Arrow High School seniors who signed letters of intent to play college athletics were honored during the 2020 National Signing Day Ceremony in the indoor practice facility. The featured speaker was NCAA football coach Greg Peterson. Another early event in the semester was the much-anticipated gym night. This year, Team City and Team Western battled it out for the gym night crown. Both teams did amazing, but it was Team City who ultimately came out on top. Wrapping up the end of February, Tiger Theaters performed their rendition of Footloose the Musical. This year's musical was an absolute blast for everyone involved, including myself. Actors Cameron Bruner and Alexis Johnson were nominated to attend the annual Discovery Awards for their performances. Although this year is not ending the way we hoped, let's not forget all the other memories that we've made. Thank you, Broken Arrow, for giving me the opportunity to give you the news for the past three years. Thank you to the Aerovision Department for believing in me. And thank you to Mr. Couch and Mr. Spencer for mentoring me, guiding me, and helping me find my passion. Thank you to all the friends that I've made and all the teachers that I've had for helping me grow and become a better person and learn so much. And for the last time, this is David Grant. And that's the big news. Thanks, David. All right, I have some big news for everyone. The 2020 BAHS Talent Show is still happening. Miss Ellis and her amazing drama program will still be hosting a virtual talent show, and you can send in your audition videos now. They want all kinds of talent. Dancers, actors, singers, jugglers, instrument players, gymnasts, poetry slam artists, acrobats, they want it all. This year, you will have a chance to video your amazing talents that you couldn't have performed on stage, like trampoline tricks or aerial stunts. Miss Ellis will cast the talent show and then use a media platform to air the Tiger Talent 2020 on a date to be determined. So send in your best video. Complete any costuming and music necessary by April 28th. Video files can be sent to jeellis at baschools.org. Next, we want to give a huge shout out to Broken Arrow High School's very own Mrs. Dixon for being named the 2020 District Teacher of the Year. It is truly my honor as the principal of Broken Arrow High School to congratulate Lisa Dixon on being named Broken Arrow Public Schools Teacher of the Year. Lisa is such a deserving recipient of this recognition. Um, she is an encourager in every sense of that word. She gives each of her students the courage to try new things, to strive for new learning, to tackle tasks that they would have thought were simply impossible before they joined her classroom. And the relationships that she forms with students continue not just during the year that she has the students in class, but in the years that follow after that. So many of her students stay in touch with her year after year after year. It's truly a testament to just who she is as a person and her talents as a teacher. Congratulations, Ms. Dixon. We're all so proud of you and proud of the fact that you now represent the fourth Broken Arrow High School teacher in a row to be named as Broken Arrow Public Schools Teacher of the Year. We're proud of you. Congratulations. Normally when you write an essay, you make your claim, right? And then what do you have to do to, to support that claim? Provide evidence, great. I have been teaching for 39 years. It was a natural progression for me. It was a, the place where I belonged and I loved reading and learning. Undoubtedly, 39 years later, it's not about the content, it's, it's about the kids. I, they make me laugh, I like to make them laugh, I like to encourage them, I like to bolster their confidence. It's not a pleasant task, but I think it's important when I, I have to have a serious talk with them and tell them about things that they need to improve and work, work on. And I think it's all those facets that make a real relationship. And that's what's the most important thing right now with teaching for me. Well, congratulations, Ms. Dixon on Teacher of the Year. Um, could not choose a better teacher for this honor uh, having known you not only as a colleague, but also as a parent. I know that um, firsthand 
you treat every student like it's your own child and have high expectations, but also have that loving relationship that um, creates success in all of our students. So again, congratulations. What's up, Brooklyn Arrow High School? I'm Serge Thomas, and this is GMBA Sports. Now, I know what y'all must be wondering. There's no sports going on. What is there to update? Well, for my last segment of GMBA Sports ever, I wanted to just do a general recap of all the sports this year at Broken Arrow High School. We're gonna start it out with our football team who had a strong season with an overall record of nine and three. The Tigers had another strong playoff push, including an epic come from behind win in the quarterfinals against the Union. Their season ended in the semifinals with a tough loss against the Tom Brick Owasso. The Tigers had a whopping 19 players who earned 2019 Class 6A1 District 1 honors, headed by co-defensive player of the year, Jalen Moss. Bryce Manchota, secondary player of the year. Andrew Rame, offensive lineman player of the year. Tyler Crawford, kicker of the year. And Isaiah Keller, co-ironman of the year. Our Broken Air Volleyball team had a tremendous season as well, making it all the way to the state championship final. Led by Coach Bullen and All-Staters Natalie Morales and Macy Blackburn, the volleyball team had a tremendous 32 wins and only three losses. Unbelievable season, ladies. Not to be outdone by amazing records, our Lady Tiger softball team piled up 38 wins and only three losses. Led by All-Staters Savannah Evans, Kaylee Reese, and Reagan Edwards, the ladies finished third in the state competition. Thanks to some fantastic pitching and big bats, it was definitely a season to remember. Our cross country teams had a great year as well, with runners making the state meet on both the guys and the girls sides. Sophomore Peyton Hinkle brought home BA's first ever individual gold medal and got it in school record time. Peyton was also named an all world nominee for cross country athlete of the year, and she was named Gatorade runner of the year for Oklahoma. BA cheer had another great year that included a regional championship and a trip to the UCA Nationals. The team traveled to Walt Disney World in Orlando, which included 950 other teams and nearly 20,000 student athletes across the country. Broken Arrow Varsity Cheer finished eighth in the nation in the medium co-ed division. Our girls wrestling team came out with a bang in their inaugural season for BA and had four wrestlers win their weight divisions at the state exhibition competition. Olivia Brown, Kaisha Cathy, Allison Hines, and Abby Lasseter all brought home the gold, and our ladies finished off their first season ranked 12th in the nation. Unbelievable job, ladies. Our boys wrestling team had another outstanding season as well, winning dual state and team state, bringing the grand total of wrestling state championships to 20 in year 2020. Broken Arrow had all 14 wrestlers qualify for the state tournament, and that was the first time that feat was ever accomplished by any 6A team. 11 of those qualifiers came home with medals, including three with gold, including Jackson Cockrell, Bryce Machota, and Emmanuel Skillings. Our boys finished 17th in the nation in the national rankings, with Bryce Cockrell and Jackson Cockrell being named to the 2020 Large East All-State team. Both of our basketball teams had solid season, with both teams making it all the way to the area competition, and our girls team was led by Talia Jones with 17.3 points per game, and the boys were led by JL Talley's 10.2 points per game. Our swim teams had awesome seasons as well, with BA bringing home the state medals in the 400 free relay, with Claire McDerris, Sarah Tonelli, Erica Frescott, and Rachel Kramer taking part in that event. Then, Rachel Kramer secured two medals in her individual races, the 200 and 500 free. We also want to congratulate Serena Barker, who was named to the OCA East All-State Swim Team. Our amazing Broken Air Tigettes had a season to remember, as they had great finishes in regionals and in-state. They finished out their season traveling to Florida before the break, placing 12th in Palm and 7th in Kick at UCA Nationals. Congrats, ladies. As you all know, the spring sports were unfortunately cut short. However, in the short time spring sports were competing, there were some pretty cool things that happened. Our girls soccer team, led by first year head coach at VA, Cassie Embry, started off their season before the break in dominating style, 6-0. The boys soccer team started out their season against the defending 5A state championship, Bishop Kelly, and number two nationally ranked and defending 6A state champions Jinx and played amazing, beating both of them in penalty kicks. This led our boys to be ranked number 12 in the nation. 
BA's track and field team had success in the border brawl meet, including victories in the 1600 meter medley relays, with the girls team breaking the school record with a time of 4.18.95. Peyton Hinko also brought the 1600 meter gold home on the girls' side. Parker Sith brought home gold in the long jump on the boys' side as well. Our baseball team was out for revenge this season, hoping to avenge last year's state final defeat, and started off their season strong, going 4-2 in their first six games. Overall, it was a great year to be a Tiger, and I've really enjoyed keeping all you Tiger fans updated all year long. From all of us here at BA, we want to congratulate every sports team for a great year, and for our spring sports whose seasons got cut short, we're all thinking of you. Well, that's all I got for you this year, BA. From GMBA Sports, I'm Serge Thomas, and it's been an honor. Thanks, guys. Counselors are now accepting applications for summer school. Students who need to make up a credit or take credit advancement classes can email their counselor for more information. Classes will be completely online this summer, but teachers will be available virtually to help with classes. This is a great time to get caught up on credits. Also, if anyone is in need of a transcript, requests for 10th and 11th grade students can be sent to Stephanie Walters at swalters at baschools.org. Email response time will be within 72 hours. Be sure to provide your name, date of birth, and year of graduation. Current 12th grade students will use Naviance to request a transcript. Head to baschools.org, then to the Broken Air High School page for a detailed description on how to use Naviance in the new section. Students, you can still apply to Tulsa Community College for concurrent enrollment. Students can earn dual credit for taking college classes while in high school. TCC has waived test score admissions requests for one semester. So if you don't have the test scores, you are still eligible to be admitted for one semester. You can email Mrs. McDonald at trmcdonald at beschools.org for the paperwork and she will help you with the process. Upcoming juniors and seniors that are interested in internships for the 2020-2021 school year should contact Ms. Flowers as soon as possible. She will help you navigate the application process for the program as well as help with resume writing and learning job interview skills. Visit baschools.org slash college career for more details and contact information. For anyone in Tulsa Tech, they are still accepting applications for the 2020-2021 school year. Just email Justin Etzel at justin.etzel at tulsatech.edu for more information. information. <laughs> Students who are currently sophomores and juniors will be asked to return their library books in August of the 2020-2021 school year. Students will not be charged overdue fees, but for current seniors, you'll be asked to return your library books when diploma pickup is announced. There will be a notice on your diploma with the title of the book, but you will not be charged any fees. During this virtual time, your librarian is also creating videos for reading suggestions and doing some story time by reading the first chapter of selected books. Go to the Book Chats page on the Librarian's Corner Canvas course to watch. If you have any questions about this information, please message Mrs. Thomas through Canvas. Hi, I'm Micaiah, a senior from Tiger Rhythm, here with some information about show choir tryouts. If you haven't heard already, all middle school and high school show choir auditions will be virtual this year. At BrokenAirChoir.com, there are forms for each school that you and your parents need to carefully read over and fill out together in order to audition. On this form, there is a link to the vocal audition song and a tutorial for the audition dance. All forms and auditions need to be turned in no later than May 1st. Late tryouts will not be accepted. Show Choir has given me a family and memories to last me a lifetime. It's an experience that you will never forget. It is empowering. It teaches you so many different things from work ethic to people skills and it creates a community of people that know the same thing. And it helps you in the future and now. You should join Show Choir because you get a family and you get best friends for life. And that's one of the most, one of the biggest gifts that Show Choir can give you. Show Choir taught me that you can walk into the choir room being complete strangers, yet walk out at the end of the year being best friends. And it's just fun. I love Show Choir because Show Choir gave me my forever family. So come join us. Thanks guys. The amazing Broken Air Color Guard is also holding video auditions for any student currently in 8th through 11th grade. 
Students who are interested will be required to learn a short dance piece and send in a recording of themselves completing the dance. No previous experience is required. Go to the website band.us and search Broken Art Color Guard 2020. Ask permission to jo join and a staff member will approve your request. Then you will have access to audition materials and info on how to submit your video. The audition video deadline is May 15th. If you have any more questions, please email Sarah Rilo at brokenairguard at gmail.com. Ask for activities for next year that require you to audition, such as pride, targets, cheer, and more. Be on the lookout on the VHS Pulse Instagram account as well as individual activity accounts for more info. Guys, it's Mason off campus. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, so we got quarantine. Uh, I haven't really been doing a whole lot. I've um, I bleached my hair. It's blonde now. That's pretty crazy. And uh, I mean, that's about it. Nothing, nothing really crazy has been happening. You know, kind of, kind of been boring. Quarantine's really gotten to him. Dinner in five. This last segment goes out to our healthcare workers and those who are on the front lines every day to help us stay safe and healthy during this time of uncertainty. Hey guys, it's Morgan. Hey guys, it's Ree from The Pulse. We wanted to give a special shout out to all healthcare workers. Even though the world is scary right now, we just want to say thank you. If you know someone who's a healthcare worker, please text them or tell them that we say thank you. Thank you so much. You're the best. I appreciate you and everything you do. Kiss. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Big thanks to all of our healthcare workers right now. Thank you. Thank you, healthcare workers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, that's all we have for you this year, BA. Thank you so much for watching this special episode of GMBA for this school year. Congratulations to our seniors for sticking together during this time. And even though our senior year definitely didn't go as planned, we will always remember the great memories we had at Broken Arrow High School. I personally want to say thank you to the Pulse class for everyone that had a hand in making my high school experience so special. Thank you, Mr. Couch and Mr. Spencer for seeing the potential in me and letting me be a part of this amazing program I will never forget. I also wanted to say thanks to everyone that has to endure three years of me hosting and giving you announcements every week. Thank you for your support throughout the years and I'm going to miss GMBA. For a final time, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to follow at BHS Pulse on Instagram to get be in the know at BHS. Thanks again and I'll see you down the road.